Happy Monday, everybody. We're sorry. This this doesn't usually happen. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Hi, welcome. It's cool to be to think about it that I get to be the I get to start the week. I get to I get to wake up and come on in and and be the first stream of a new week. Unless you count Sunday as the beginning of a week. I'm not one of those people. I recognize that the weekend, I think, traditionally is supposed to, like, bookend, you know, the week. I'm a, I'm a Monday is the start of the week, Saturday and Sunday are, like, Sunday is the last day of the week kind of person, you know? That's, that's always how I've operated. I don't know if uh, people who count Sunday as the start of the week are maniacs and incorrect. See, thank you. Yeah, it's the weekend! Great point. Great point. I, I would agree. It's weekend, not weekend and beginning. Thank you. All right. Great. Good to know I'm among such smart and intelligent people. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about, though, right? I feel like a lot of uh, like calendars do it. I feel like that's what they do. You know, that's that's the fact that the that the uh, the, the week the week bookenders will uh, will point to is they'll be like, then why on the calendar? Is it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Huh? Huh? You think calendars are wrong? And I say, who the fuck owns a calendar anymore? <laughs> Unless you're talking about the digital one. But who the fuck owns a calendar? <laughs> Euro calendars put Sunday last? Well, there you go. It's about time Europe did something. <laughs> Man, I'm feeling punchy this morning, apparently. Oh, my goodness. Maybe it's because it's the last day. This is the, from from all from what I understand. This is going to be the final the final played forward stream for me, and it's been uh, it's been fun. It's been a good way to hang out with y'all, get to chat in the mornings and stuff. Uh, very excited to uh, have Mondays off again. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily. I only have Mondays off for as long as Dice Friends is on Monday. Once CTS comes back, I'm occasionally on those. I do like a good uh, crossing the streams, but uh, yeah, we get to you guys. You, you all get to continue with your bite club uh, adventure tonight, which will be really, really cool. I get to I get to sort of live vicariously because I'm the one who uh, is in charge of like the you know the the tabletop YouTube channel uploads and stuff, and uh, so I, I I I live through like the the thumbnails and the the clips and bits that I get to see of it, but I haven't actually watched it. But I hear it's really really good. It's a lot of fun. My housemates just bought a 2025 calendar. Every time I wonder why they keep bothering when we have digital ones, but it's convenient. I guess like having having a physical representation of your week, I think I, I totally get that, right? Like I used to live, my first apartment that I lived in Victoria, uh, my, the, the, it was like, so we call them, I call them California style kitchens, which is like, you know the the apartment kitchens that are just like a a line like they're a throughway sort of a thing and then you can like wrap around on either end to the rest of the apartment so we had one of those and on the wall that was uh like the opposite wall of the of the kitchen uh it was at one, the whole thing was a big whiteboard and that was a lot of fun and so we would throw like like you know date things on there sometimes which was cool uh so i get that but Physical calendars make it more real? I guess. I mean, like, there are people, you know, like, I remember uh, oof, years and years and years ago um, when uh, bullet journaling became, like, the big fad and, uh, and, like, Heather, Corey, and myself would get together and do, like, bullet journals. And I fell off of it pretty hard. But I know that, like, for a lot of people, it was, like, a really, really good way to do things. And uh, so if, if if having the physical representation of things helps you out, then, you know, power to you. I'm I'm definitely like, uh, I mean, I'm definitely a wake. This morning, for example, I told Nicole, I was like, yeah, I got the day off. And then I woke up and was like, right, I do a stream in the morning and like had to, and like rushed out the door kind of a thing. But, uh, you know, it's fine. Sometimes I'm good about it. You know, realistically. I very rarely miss work-related things. I'm just really bad at remembering life-related things, you know? That's that's me. And maybe, you know, maybe a physical calendar would actually help that. But, I mean, I just need to get better about scheduling in general. 
but because I, I I pride myself in one thing, it's that I'm very rarely late. I will always I, I I remember the things in the end in enough time that I get to the things, but uh I I I'm definitely like it's a day of and I go shit right I gotta go do this and then you know reap the 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 goods or bads as it is but I'm very 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 rarely late I am not a I'm not a person who enjoys being late I don't I I think that drilled into me from being like a theater person uh when you I mean in at least in the in, in the in the theater world especially as like a tech and whatnot if you are late you are getting chewed out big time big time big time big time chewed out but actually speaking of theater uh nicole and i it was our anniversary it was our six year anniversary yesterday um so we went and saw the uh the new wicked part one film it was really good and it definitely made me miss working in musical theater i mean i don't i don't miss uh you know what a lot of the days and stuff would end up being like but i miss the atmosphere of working in theater it was a lot of fun i i i, I wish i wish it didn't you know rub me in such a wrong way that I ended up like leaving and going and doing other things. But it was, it was cool while it lasted. I, I enjoyed post-secondary working on shows. Cause like I got to do some really, really cool ones. Loading ready run musical. When, I mean, we no, we have definitely talked about doing some sort of musical loading ready live. Maybe someday, you know, it's, it takes a lot of work to do it, but I'd love to like, you know, sit down with like Molly Lewis and her and I like write a song and stuff because I feel like if I could toot my own horn a little bit, I think I'm an okay uh, lyricist, or at least from like an improv -y sort of you know perspective. So, how many crew members can sing? You know, I think I think a couple can. I'm like I I don't think I'm a really great singer, but I can at least like you can like pseudo sing. You know, I think if you've ever watched like the. Um, uh anyway episode like a lot of a lot of like comedy tv shows you know like community and whatnot would do like a singing episode or like a muppets episode or something like that and a lot of the actors can't sing great but they still just like, kind of let them do it what is it joel joel McHale from at least from from what i gleaned in the episodes he's not a great singer but he can see uh, uh, enough that like it keeps the spirit of this is a musical kind of thing and that's that's the thing, yeah. The members trying to sing, I think, is the key thing. So, I think it'd be a fun thing. Significantly predating the involvement of most of the present crew. <laughs> it's true. The original Loading Ready Live was in. Wait, the original Loading Ready Live was in two thousand and six, but then like the the reoccurring sort of segment, I don't think, didn't start until maybe a year-ish before I started. So it would have been like 2014-ish or 2015, um, which is wild to think. I've been here for almost a decade. Now wild. I got here of September of 2016. So just a little over eight years I've been working for the old loading ready run. It's been a, been a good journey, I think, so far. In terms of effort, it's probably similar to a season of Friday night. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely one, like, for the most part, Loading Ready Live is like we get together on the Saturday and we just make up the show and then uh, have approximately, you know, five-ish hours. Like, we don't we don't even get up that early because everybody here is like an immobile sleep beast. I don't know about if you've ever tried to get Beach out of bed before 7 a.m., I mean, if you try to get Beach out of bed before noon, it's a struggle. But, <laughs> but we're definitely like, so we we ha we usually get together around like ten or eleven, and then, and and then we have we we think of the sh what we're gonna do for the show, and then we have to like six o'clock to make it happen, and it's gone. So like sometimes sometimes like you know we'll discuss in advance if we have like an idea or if we want if there's like a pre-record or something that we really wanted to do. Uh, but for the most part, it's just getting together on Saturday and hanging out and doing stuff. So rock and roll dirt. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think there's a loading ready live too with the present crew. Ain't the worst idea. I mean, I just, I really, I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite things that we do. Of course, you can never watch loading ready live, you know, live. Yeah. It's, I mean, for some people it might be like later than normal, but it's still, I, I would imagine 
for the most part, that is probably one of the best shows that you could watch not live. Because for the most part, we don't really interact with Twitch chat during Loading Ready Live. Like, we just sort of, it's just doing shows. Like, there's sometimes some segments where we could read chat and stuff. But, like, realistically, there's not a ton of interaction during live. So it's like watching watching it live or watching the the VOD of it, I think, is... Like, that's one of the ones where watching the VOD, I think, is, like, probably fine. Because it's like, yeah, we're just... It, it really is sort of just watching your show. We could pre-record the entirety of Loading Ready Live, and you wouldn't even know. <laughs> Speaking of Loading Ready Live, doing anything for this year's Boxing Day stream this month's extended Loading Ready Live? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I know that we're doing... The, the, there were some, like, ideas or whatever. This is the first year in a while I'm actually not leaving for Christmas. I'm staying in town, so maybe some sort of thing. AFK is on Christmas Day, and I think I canceled that unless anybody wanted to do some sort of thing. But I'm like, I know that I gotta go to I gotta go to Nicole's parents, and if I don't, I'm dead to them. <laughs> Which is so hard, dude. Nicole's do it. Okay, for the first two years of my relationship, uh, I spent Christmas alone at my house because. Uh, what Nicole's parents like to do is they like to have, first off, they like to have everybody over for Christmas Eve, like sort of like appetizer dinner. Like they make like a bunch of like finger foods and stuff like that. And that's dinner. Um, and then they always force everybody to watch uh, the National Lampoon Christmas, which I've seen so many times now. And I'm just like, the more I watch it, the more I'm like, man, fuck Chevy Chase. <laughs> uh, so I think we, we've managed to like, try and like convince them to watch like some sort of other movie or whatever. But then uh, we come back over for Christmas morning to do like present opening and stuff. And then they, we spend the entire day at their house uh, and then have Christmas dinner. Um, and I can't do that uh, because Nicole's parents have five cats. So being the allergic boy that I am, it's five cats in a house that has no ventilation because they all get cold. So there's none there's none ventilation in this home. And it's like Christmas cooking all day. So it's like hot and stuffy and, and there's like no escape or anything like that. So I'm just like, I'm just baking in like, yeah, in, in, in this like allergy zone. Uh, so... That sounds unhealthy, even if you don't have allergies. I know, right? And here's the thing. And I can sit like I, I can, I, I am a long-term pet owner. I have a cat now too, uh, and it's like mo nine times out of ten, when a pet owner is like, "Don't worry, I cleaned." What they mean is, I vacuumed, and then I also put the vacuum on the couch a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> do not deny it to to a lot of people the 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 i have cleaned of a pet owner which is like to, some sort of you know reassurance that you have that you have you've sterilized your home of allergens it is not enough it is very rarely enough don't worry yes and that's the thing is you'll like not real you're like at nine at, at, in those situations the people will be like don't worry i cleaned today and it's like yes i'm sure you did but here's what you really did was you vacuumed a bunch of shit which was great you probably vacuumed the couch a little bit because it probably had cat hair or you know animal hair or whatever and then because you just like vacuumed and moved and dusted and all that shit now all that allergen is in the air and it's wafting around for the rest of the day so all you've done is agitate everything and then just like put it into the sky and now that's way worse <laughs> so there it's very very rarely like a, a, a w and i think like understandably so there is really realistically only so much you can do when you own a pet there's only so much you can do you can make everything look really nice but the allergies are just gonna be there so it's you know also a bit on the allergy person to like you know med the fuck up apparently kathleen has cat allergies which often make me wonder how she's gotten so far with two cats all the time the answer gap filler and for lack of a better term it's stockholm syndrome 
The answer is you take the meds that you can, you die for five to six months of your initial cat get, and then eventually your body chills the fuck out. That is the answer. But it's only to your cat and to your animals. I go over to my parents' house, the dog licks my face, my entire face breaks out red (laughs) like that is the answer eventually your body just gets to deal like it learns to deal with it but you know for the first couple of weeks to months it's just you you just die you just die (laughs) you go to bed with two wads of kleenex up your nose and you know, and you breathe through your mouth and then you wake up with a cat on your face. So you've breathed in a bunch of cat hair. So your throat has all closed up. And then, uh, you know, a couple, couple months later, that stops happening. <laughs> if there was any justice, becoming immune to one cat would make you... Exactly, right? Like I should now, as a cat owner, be able to go over to Nicole's parents' house and be fine. No, (laughs) it does not play that way. Nicole using Adam to convince you to get Gus was honestly an incredible play. I was so mad. I was like, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell say no in company. Like if you if you had a bunch of people over and you're like, we should adopt this. I'm not going to be the dickhead that's like, no, let them perish. Because when there's like company over. So, yes, it was it was a very it was a very good play. And the fortunate side is. Gus has fundamentally changed my vibe on cats. I like for the longest time, I think that uh, anytime somebody would talk to me about their cat, I would roll my eyes. Like I love all animals, huge animal guy. Love. And and, and, like, I still like cats, but I could never quite wrap my head around why people liked them as pets because P, like the most reoccurring like you have heard a cat owner be like oh yeah they sometimes just like don't want they don't want to be around me like they they just don't 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 observe the cat's presence don't touch them definitely don't touch their stomach just like just give them their space and and let them you know and 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 every once in a while sometimes they'll like they'll they'll lick my hand and they and I know that that loves me Right. And I'll be like, damn, cool pet. (laughs) I can I can flip my dog over sideways. And he's like, fuck, yeah. And like, will lay on me. And I'm like, neat, awesome pet. Right. And and so I would like definitely be like, cool. You know, I I still think cats are great or whatever. Um, And to and, and to it, I still feel a little bit of that way. Uh, But Gus is uh he's he's a cuddle machine and like he's he's like f- i can i can flip him we have a game where he likes to bite my like he likes to nibble on my fingers and like pretend i can literally grab him by the chest and fucking do like a fucking like this and then suplex him and he's like yeah again and like i mean that's obviously kitten vibes and stuff but that's that that to me i'm like this is this rules cool pet right so it's definitely probably certain vibes and i i I, i'm i'm probably the same way with a lot of dogs and stuff too right but just got to get the better pulls and the tabby gotcha yeah sure (laughs) ben why would you one hand suplex your cat because it's fun he's having a great time (laughs) tonight is in the game we might in theory eventually get to today (laughs) sure yeah yeah maybe I wonder if in universe this is how ND five and the rest of the crew feel about K and Nix. Yeah, I mean, K K is definitely like there. There's a there's a descending tier list. I think of uh, characters in this game, and K is decidedly on the lower middle tier. Nix is top tier though, hundred percent. But you're right, you're right. I did say we were gonna com- we're going to complete the game today, so we should probably get going. Uh, we are about to commence the final big heist of the game. We're breaking in to the same vault that we broke into at the start of the game in hopes to get lots of money to split amongst our big crew. That is that is the whole thing. Our mom is now on the crew. 
who we do not like, but apparently we're like vibing with now. Uh, and we got like a bunch of other homies and, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's just typical Ben 30 minute podcast for the extra live stream starts. Yeah. I mean, I recognize that what myself and Adam sort of do is a bit of an anomaly on the live streams. I know a lot of people are like, hi, well, or, hi, welcome to the stream. Reminder that this stream is brought to you by Patreon and you can go check out our store. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to, to do all this stuff. Anyways, time for video game. I just like to sit and fucking chat. <laughs> I imagine, I imagine it gets unhinged. Everybody's got their own way of running the show, right? When is the twin sun stream scheduled so I can make sure to catch it live? Uh, that'll be on Wednesday, uh, 5 p.m. PST. How we're gonna do it is um, I'm, or er, uh, Jacob and Nelson are going to be doing a 1v1 game to start just so because they've never played the game before and they're going to get a handle on things and then we're going to do a twin sons game after they're done that I genuinely like the pre-stream talk here and on lots of well thank you I mean it's just it's just an excuse for me to get to chat with y'all realistically it's like hey let's get all the things that have been rattling around in my brain i've got a great you know i've got a great sample size here to pull the audience with it's you know slightly for selfish reasons <laughs> what's the occasion he's got he talkie he did tell them to do your call up and me or he's pre or the puno all right let's bond with the crew before we uh do this mission would have liked one that trick with my sister parents for me Last time I saw them, I was being shipped off to join the Empire. Now that I'm a deserter, I can't... I can't ever go home. What about you, Kay? I, uh... I, I guess we've never had anyone to lose. No, no, Kukit. Atima Yokola. Talk up for Bram, think I should grab a Jagrancha stuff. Also, Ankh is the top tier character, too. When you get your own talk show, I mean, I've, I've, I've rattled the idea that Adam and I should do some sort of podcast for Lur, but I don't know what we would talk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the podcast would be about, <laughs> but I would, I would definitely do a show. I, I think, I think me, uh, me, James and Adam or me, uh, at Wheeler and Adam would be, I think a fun time. Tell me that's a fresh bowl. I don't think he cares. So, uh, how's your leg? Oh yeah, he got it's shot. It's fine, Kay. And six kin think you're dead. I made my peace with them by fixing a couple of races in their favor. I thought you were out of the game. I still have a few connections. Yeah, you think Bram makes money off this place? Could at least update the menu. Been a little busy paying off someone's debts. Right. And besides, I'm sure you'll be out of here in no time, Rico. Hey, I've looked after Kay in my own way. Yeah? How's your leg? Easy, Bram. Damn. Well, Papa Bram's on our team. It was Let's a long go. time coming. He also gives Listen, our shit. Bram, I owe you. We owe you. I guess for everything. You owe me rent. And to make sure you're breathing on the other side. Score or no score. Oh yeah, I forgot about Skeleton Crew. I'm I'll, I'll definitely be checking it out. I hope it I, I I hope it's good. It seems like a coin flip with uh with Star Wars shows these days, although I haven't I haven't watched The Acolyte. People say it's terrible. People are also dumbasses, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I just, I, I don't want to watch any of the newer stuff until I finish watching Clone Wars. I want to have every little piece of like, so, haha, forgive me, yet? reference. And I feel like Born Clone Wars the is the best the galaxy. for that. Easy to say for a rich kid. Still the truth. Can Had you still watch Rico. the Acolyte? Piracy, yeah, baby. Yeah, she had my back. In ND5? What about him? <laughs> he was a babysitter, but now he's quite the believer in K-Vess. 
We make a good team. He surprised me. He's not alone. After the job's done, your death mark will be gone. As promised, you'll have a future again. If you're gonna pitch me, just pitch me. The Empire's busy chasing rebels across a hundred worlds. The syndicates have exhausted themselves fighting each other. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We could be partners. Build our own outfit. Together. Eh. <laughs> what? I think this is a one-and-done kind of thing. I don't joke about business. Good. Because you're not very funny. No matter what happens, I do believe in you, Kay. Always have. Can't fair. Okay, enough with the speeches. We'll miss our window. This guy gives me the vibes that he's like a dad. Like the way he's written makes him want to be like, oh, by the way, because we don't know. We don't know who Kay's dad is or whatever. Right. And so it's kind of one of those things where it's like it feels like they're setting up for that reveal, but he seems way too young for that. I can't believe this is the end for the game. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure maybe there is more after or whatever. I mean, it seems like one of those games will do the heist and then it's like, now we're in adventure mode. You can go run around and go do whatever, right? But it, it was very quick. We, we've we done... Uh, I'm sure there were side missions galore where we could have fleshed this stuff out a bit, but I just... Eh. So, did you All think right, we're supposed to pull it off? I calculated a 30% chance that you'd get me killed. That's not bad. That's pretty good. And 93% that I'd be forced to shoot you. Oh, that's pretty bad. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. Yes, well, the job's not done yet. Are you ready? Or do you want to speak to the crew before we go? We already did. Okay, I'm ready. What yeah, there was like tons cut? of shit that, I, that we, there was more bath. to do. I don't get a cut. What? How's that fair? I'm a droid with a restraining bolt and property of Jalen Vrax. It doesn't have to be like this. We could use Gadeek's freedom spike. Don't, Kay. We pull this off. I'm rich. You're free. Everybody wins. Stop. I am loyal to Jalen. Only Jalen. Deviate from the plan and I would be forced to eliminate you. No. No, that's not you talking. It doesn't matter, Kay. Now let's go. We're wasting time. Damn. All right. Yeah, exactly, Diderot. I just picked a couple of games up on the autumn Steam sale. They had like I, I hadn't played Slime Rancher. Uh, they had it for three bucks. I've heard it's a very fun game. I also picked up uh, was it Northgard? The like North City uh, Here's where we find builder out how good Jalen's plans are for like three bucks too. Never exactly like it is Any game home. that looked decent that was like ninety bucks or ninety percent okay. off. Okay, once I take I down just, their security, I threw, we I threw a couple override bucks the access at it. hatch and get inside. Hmm. There's the mansion. Oh, that's a first stop is that security building. We'll take down the outer defenses from there. Stay out of sight. I'll clear the way to the security building. I'm coming with you, Kay. No, you're not. This has to be done quiet. I've got so many games, though. Yeah. I've got so many games that I have played a bunch of, but then never beat. And I'm trying Something to stop that. So, for example, I've never actually completed a run of, uh, of Potionomics. So I started, I started a new playthrough of that. Uh, I guess we could do this. All right, Nix, go get him. Uh, someone's on me! Come! Oh, fuck. Well, that instantly went bad. I didn't think there were that many so close. Blasters out! Surprise! 
She's here! Surprise! You can't kill him oh, Jesus. I do think it's incredibly funny that I'm pretty sure in the old version of this, uh, we would have failed the mission, but they were like, hey, if you want, you can just go in guns blazing. And uh, I'm doing that. Oh. Gadik, security building's yours. I've got just the droid to take it down. Hey everybody, I did it. I was quiet. I was a stealth machine. Got the boom ball mix. You opening the door or what? Nix, snatch that. Come on, bud. You got this. Damn, I wish I could grab the sledgehammer. We need more melee builds. Yeah, it's like, I think after this, I've got, um, uh, Rogue Trader next. Did not get very far in it, but then I had I like went to go do something I'm else. I'm so proud of that little guy. Come on, we gotta hit him before they realize what's happening. Uh, and uh, holy shit! Let's go. Come on, really? now I actually want to get through good. it because I hear it's a very good game. Good job, Nix. You don't really want to do this. Dude, I'm so ass with like shooting you uh, in controller games. Oh, hello. Nope. Nope. Rogue Warrior with Mickey Rourke. Jeez. Oh, wait. Isn't that the game where, like, the dude's voice lines are, like, way too aggressive? Ugh, come on. Like, way too, like, over the top? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like, you know, like, you know, like, in a game where someone will, like, it, the, the, they'll, be, they'll record, like, a bunch of, like, like passive voice lines. Like, somebody will be like, you'll shoot the person. They'll be like, ha ha, gotcha. Match. In that game, from what I saw, it was like, okay, get ready. you know, you'll shoot somebody Cracking or you'll like run seal. towards somebody and like passively the Mickey, you'll get a Mickey Rourke voice line that's just like, I'm going to tear your fucking head off and shit down your neck so that it goes into your stomach. And you're like, whoa, nice Jesus Christ, Mickey, house. relax. Okay, let's keep it that way. <laughs> All right, down we go, team. Oh, Jesus, I almost just jumped in. Sealing the hatch behind you. See you at the casino. And remember, you're the only way we're getting out of here. Good luck, Kay. Okay, we need to kill the power to these fans. I'll find a way to shut them down. beat your first playthrough of the Talos Principle. Sick. I, I'm i slowly starting to realize that like, well, I've been having a lot of fun in MMO land. I just need to start playing more. I feel more accomplished when I'm playing like single player games and I'm having more fun and stuff. So it's like I have, I've gotten, I've gotten my Keystone Master in WoW and I have completed all of the current like tough or the current tier 
raids in um, Final Fantasy. Like, I've cleared everything on Savage and all the extremes and stuff. Uh, and now I'm just like, maybe I should just put those down and just... Now's the time to play single-player games for a bit. Yeah, I mean, the real answer is I'm supposed to... You know, I'm I'm supposed mm, to prog the new uh, the new the lesbians stairs. ultimate, but those are always so I don't know. Those are those are a tough ask. I'm not I'm not great at Final Fantasy. Something my honey beat my honey intensifies. Yeah, I beat. I mean, her fight's great. I have I have beaten that on Savage. Uh, oh, I see. Next. Hold this for me, okay? Do you get all your wing mounts? No, I don't. I just don't know if I want to grind those two EXs. Lesbian can opener strats. <laughs> it's funny, Nicole. We just took Nicole through Eden, too. She has officially done all the things of Shadowbringers and uh, is about to move on to Endwalker. Proc the new lesbians ultimate? Yeah. Yeah. She was a good fight. Am I doing the right thing here? No, sorry. I know there's a heist going on, but I'm distracted by how cool you all are. It's a labyrinth in here, so stick close to me. Okay. What if I didn't stick close to you, though? Surely there's got to be, like, secrets. Right? No? Wait, I didn't stick close to you. Wow, what a... What a what a labyrinth! Are you fucking kidding me? It was two forks. What the fuck are you talking about? One of which you could instantly see was a dead end. Hold on, I'm going back to see what was down that other way. <laughs> like 300 credits. That's wild. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've also, because there's the new uh, Age of Wonders uh, DLC, which has been great. Dude, Age of Wonders, I've discovered, is exactly what I want out of a 4X game. It's got, uh, it's got a fun, uh, it's got, it's got Total War-esque combat, but without being nearly as fucking frustrating and difficult. It's like hex-based and stuff. And then it also has like that Civ sort of, you know, vibe, but like it's not overly complex. I, I, I'm telling you, if you want to play fantasy 4X games, Age of Wonders, Age of Wonders 4 is incredible. Such a good game. Who is throwing their credits here? Yeah, it's like a, if you don't get a locker, sometimes you got to make your own, you know? Oh, I wonder. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I was about to drop down that, but... Uh, Oh, they did not very little. Whoa! Goodbye, Nick. Broken. <laughs> Dude went zooming. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're in one piece. Do you know where you are? Close to the hangar. We'll cross it and meet up with you on the other side. So I'm in a vent. Keep mom. going. Stick to the plan. And now this is the labyrinth. Here we go. Holy moly. All right, you ready to see if we can find all the secrets? I also didn't really engage with the crafting systems too much. Hey, can I pet you? No? Seemed like I could interact with you. All right, you're not letting me pet you. Wee. Hager's just ahead. Oh, wow. I just skipped most of it, I guess. Whoops. 
I mean, if the game's gonna end soon, how much how much exploring do I need to do, really? Oh, this was just another way to go. Every, there were multiple paths leading to the same result. <gasps> there we go. Pet? Yeah! Oh, hello. Well, now I can't see what's going on. Hold the light better. Forty-three credits. Let's go. People are dropping their money all over. We're almost out of the vents. I think I see the way out. <sighs> Skirt. It seems like an inefficient ventilation okay. system. Most most Everything ventilation right. systems in video A games busy are. Right now. You heard her. Keep moving. Oh, they definitely up security since the last time we were here. Oh yeah, when we came through here the first time, we just fucking dove a kid our way exit. through. We're leaving the vents. Okay. Oh, we never did get the stun stick, did we? We can't do anything to robots. ghost like a whisper oh shit I, I, was, I didn't even see the camera okay this is turning into a record seven slices so far of course Lero's codes make this a lot easier after this you'll be so rich you'll never have to slice again you don't get slicers at all kid and that's eight personal best Oh. So Ben, I was watching a stream of the new Dragon Age game and apparently the first warden's voice reminded me of J. J. Jonah Jameson right on cue. It says, we need more. I said, we need more pictures of Spider-Man. Dude, uh, more and more just properties in general are um, are bringing on him. Fuck, what is this name? Uh-oh, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Um, ooh, Jesus. J.K. Simmons, thank you. Uh, he's great. Go get him, buddy. Oh. Well, you know, we tried. We're pissed, Come on now. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Help! Help! I forgot how to shoot in video games. One of those guys that has one voice, but it's so good. Yeah. Oh, uh, this seems like a bad time to do this, girl. Grenade launcher. You know, as fun as sneaking around is, it's also cool to just be able to just murder everything. Okay, we're still making good time. Nothing in here but scrubber droids. New, new models, too. They have sensor upgrades, low friction actuators, and even... What did I tell you about keeping the comms clear? This is important. Slicing. Ooh. So close. Oh, 
cool door. <laughs> Definitely didn't need to go there. All right. Very cool. All right. It was just the next hanger over. Great. There's a story he tells where he went for a voice actor job. They told him they were looking for someone like his voice, and it was him, and he didn't get that job. That's funny. I like this, like, heist music. Hmm. I don't think I can knock these dudes out. window to pull this off keep going i'll meet you damn this gun sucks they won't quit dude this gun sucks all right i don't see nobody Exactly uh, doing the stealthy approach on this heist today, huh? <laughs> Definitely more of a uh, guns blazing kind of vibe. But that's fine. Everybody can solve a puzzle in their own way. Sometimes you just need to bring a mallet to the jigsaw puzzle. Still gets the pieces together. I tinkered with one of their droids. And you've been doing just Call fine. To start a maintenance cycle. Gotta, gotta get down because you want it all. Security logs for us. Gotta admit, it was half clever. <laughs> Look at you two. I'm on my way. Shove all the blocks through the square hole. Exactly. Okay. All these old lifts need is a little boost. If an axolotl will start pulling up my arm and make a louder sound than the quiet, huh? I'd be like, oh my goodness! Look at this little guy! Whoa. Uh, huh? Uh-oh, puzzles. Oh, I see. Ugh. Roomba! 
Look at him. He's doing such a good job cleaning. Got all these. Uh, I mean, kinda. There's only so much, you know, you can really do. These. This place is pretty fucked up. Oh, look, it's R2's head. I mean, it's objectively not, yeah. <laughs> He's doing his best. Oh, geez. Wait, how do I... Oh, can only one be powered at a time? Or is it just because it's like a short... Or does it want me to jump, I guess? Okay, gang? so I took a little detour, but now we need to push on to the vault. The longer we take, the harder this gets. We did lose valuable time to your little accident. We still got enough, or did you want to waste more time arguing about it? Huh. I like this guy. Shut up, <laughs> Mom! On. We got some serious slicing ahead of us. Look at all this loot. We're rich. Why do I get the impression that this we're not actually gonna make it away with, you know, 16 million credits or 58 million credits or whatever? What up, Storm God? Good to see you, buddy. I don't think our character's gonna be rich after this. Something tells me we're gonna like, I don't know, join the rebellion or something. I really hope that we don't join the rebellion. Kay is so anti-rebellion that it just it just really wouldn't make sense. But then again, so was Jin Urso. Okay, Rico. She's still wet. You ready? Always. Are you? We have to complete our slices at the same time. Whoa! Who was that? We'll blast oh. us. All right. Good job, mom. Need my help? Here, let me show you how it's done. Yeah, Ray was also kind of anti-rebellion. It's just like, I feel as though, uh, oh my God, there's five? Holy crap. I feel as though Jin was like the most anti of them all. And she just did this like weird about face all of a sudden. She's like, yeah, all right. I'm very pro rebellion and I'm going to help out with this stuff. Think her fought. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I guess it was kind of one of the oops. I guess I didn't put in the right piece. Uh, there was definitely a case of like, you know, the Empire killed her dad. So therefore, you know, she wants revenge. Holy crap, this is a tough one. Okay. Ready for me to no scope this? This one. This one. This one, this one. Wait, what the? No. This one. No, can't be that. Oh, so close. I was one off. I can't believe I almost got there. <laughs> Okay, barrier and turrets down. Well done. I've never dual sliced with someone before. No one's been good enough to keep up until now. Ray should have turned dark side. So true. 
I mean, I feel bad for Finn. In that whole in that whole dealio, I think Finn got shafted the hardest. They sort of just I don't know, forgot about Finn. <laughs> want to talk. Oh. Well, good news for you. I <laughs> Sorry. work for Slero now. I know all this is a front for the Empire. Come on. We both work for the ISB. No need to make this complicated. Let me in. Now, why would you ruin it with a question like that? <laughs> Oh, get hacked, idiot. Oh, that's more like it. Gatekeeper droids are advanced, but... <laughs> Out of curiosity. <sighs> now just because of Mo Down Joe's question. Right Does anybody here still do Wordle? Oh, okay. Let's get into that vault. I never, I never got really into the Wordle world. The world -le. But I still see, like... People posting their Wordle things. You Wordle every morning? I imagine it's probably a good way to wake up. Oh, all oh right. Here's Ankh's big bomb. Damn, let's go. Rico, you're up. Sliro's codes will let you slice that door. And that's a lesson for you, Kay. Never use the same codes twice. Oh, I definitely do. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a lot of guns in here. Uh, and a lot of grenades. Sarah Bash, how did they know we were here? Uh, they were waiting for us. Yeah, we were we were we were really stealthy, Kay. You're right. How could they have possibly known? We only set off every fucking alarm. Turning their shields off. We're being attacked! We're being attacked! Alright, it's time for the grenade game. My man's rolled into a grenade. How about fine. you surrender? Mother of Moons! And... <laughs> Sharpshooter Ulmer, they call him. Oh, Trevor, did you get the one and done? I have to thank you. I've never had a chance to claim my own death mark. Damn. Come and get it. Fail. Blaster. Anything you're waiting for? No. I've decided. Okay. Is this a joke? Hilarious, isn't it? We did one thing 20%. with her. 10. I'll take everything you have. It's yours. 15. Done. Do you really think you can get away with this? Ank? Anytime now. 
also, yeah, he's like, I gotta claim my own death mark. Anyways, person shoot her. How could you know, astute? What up, Bob? Your lives are over. Your family, friends, gone. There's nowhere in the galaxy you can hide from the ISB. Ugh. Last thing I need is a dead ISB director. But I can get there. Damn. <laughs> Dude, you everybody in? in this game goes down like a sack of potatoes. I'll buy you time. All of Zirik Besh is about to come down on you. Get ready, Kay. That's true. They're like, there's nowhere in the galaxy you can hide. That's like, well, let's just go to a different galaxy then. <laughs> there's just there's a lot of them. There's like okay. all of space. Thanks, Gadeek. It's time to split up. What? We didn't talk about this. Rico found my face in the casino security logs. I step in there, instant alarm. On Uno Uba Venta Waja Bare, they have no Lia Uba. Giu Tovdita. Okay, fine, but we'll meet you both back at the Trailblazer. Oh. This feels like it's gonna be a mom betrayal. Okay, how we doing? I'm seeing you seven and a half minutes behind. Maybe it's because we just ran into Sliro. He was there? That guy was way more paranoid than we gave him credit for. Wait, mom, hold but on. I goods. can't run. Asara, are you there? I infiltrated the security room. The homing beacon's been planted. You should be getting a nice, strong ping. Oh, damn. We've got a good ping. We can play League of Legends with our friends. got stopped I assume because you want me to blow up this wall okay that was loud okay what's up you're gonna want to see this oh Zarek Bash is empty in the casino smart there goes walking out the front door hey it was a good plan they want to fight we'll give them a fight well it's nice one of us is excited about this oh uh, bye Roomba There. I can't believe it. We're almost out. Have we checked that the How's credits are actually in this thing? Is here. I don't trust this. You're probably correct. Who do you think is going to be the betrayer? Do you think it's going to be Jalen working with our mom? That's my guess. That's my guess. Oh, come on. Looks like our luck just You don't think out. our mom's going to betray us? Asara, All right. hold them off. Rico, so let's open those generator Oop. panels. Oh, got some money behind the counter. Next sliced. First panel's open, K. Blast it. Oh. I can keep slicing open those panels, but it's gonna take time. Oh. You need to keep us all alive. Sure, you got it. Oh. You know what more? Dude, this armor is absurd. The amount of shots I these guys can take. <laughs> oh, is our basic gun better than the explosion now? Okay, I've opened I guess the I generators. Blast them. I don't, I don't know where they are. No, oh, over there. Come on, really? Is Nyx useful? Yeah, kinda. It's just not as great against the armored guys. But it's like, you can do this. 
just said Nick's that, and yeah, and the armored guys they just kind of bounce off. But the regular dude, Nick can absolutely. Like you can send Nick to this guy, he'll attack, and then you can like go in on him. Okay, cracked it. Okay, time to do your thing. Ooh, that was a good explosion sound. Oh boy. Ooh. Get ready to run. Do you know what we fight for? Nope. All right, we out. See you later, nerds. Damn, that was easy. I thought there was going to be way more hold up. Like... <laughs> I mean, I know they wouldn't, but I would not put it past them to be like, we get out to the casino area and Darth Vader's there. <laughs> you know, he's just like, I knew you would try and steal from the ISB. <laughs> yeah, there was like none betrayal, none backstab. Things won't be the same after this. Uh, where's our hall? Uh-huh. Shocking. This is better. Slater so data bank. Imperial clearance codes. Operational planning. Base schematics. And Slero's personal collection of blackmail on almost every ranking officer in the Empire. Files his ISB friends have no idea he's been collecting. That's not money! Hey! You said the rebellion gets access and nobody gets hurt. Is there anyone in here not stabbing me in the back? Slero spent millions of ISB cash on Zarek Besh. He wanted to use underworld networks to hunt the Rebel Alliance. He failed, but somehow still managed to build one of the most powerful syndicates in so the world. So everybody knew it was in there except you want Zarek for Kay. Besh. I have the Codex, I have Asara's Rebel Network. Unlike Slero, I'll give the Empire everything they ever wanted while making millions. What's your deal with Slero? Just tipping the scales, Kay. Dude, I had no idea that was his. I, I will say that's not the betrayal angle I heard. Mark, that's the deal. And Asara? Okay. Deal's changed. Why? We barely five. know the guy. Hey, come on! You didn't keep your eyes on the score, kiddo. What are you talking about? That's all we did. This is so weird. It's not me, Kay. It was all a dream. It never actually happened. We're still actually a teenager. Oh, is this going to be the day our mom dipped? I will say I didn't see that. I did not think that the whole... I knew that Jalen was going to betray us, but like I didn't think it was so that he could run ISB. <laughs> Hey, Brad. That he was like a deep empire employee or like wanted to be. Uh oh. Hey, kiddo. Hey, uh, I don't really do speeches, but here we are. Damn, she sent us a text. Truth is, we both know you're not cut out for this kind of life. And this, that's all I am. Stick with me, you're gonna get yourself killed. 
you're a good kid, Kay. Just remember, in this galaxy, you can't trust someone's always gonna be... You can keep the room until you get things all figured out. I'm good. Damn, dude. You ever get kicked off the crew and your family? <laughs> Just for a few days. That's what you need. Until I figure it out. All right. Well. Or <laughs> just like in an escape pod. Ah, they locked us in the escape pod of our own ship. What is up? Is she Where saving the day? Oh, holy. Ankh oh, truly the goat. You're okay. Oh, and Gadeek too. That makes sense. These two have always there? had our back. How did you find me? Rico. We took our shuttle and came as fast as we could. And now that we got you, we can get out of here. Thanks, both of you, but I'm not going anywhere. N.D. is still under Jalen's control. He was Jalen's enforcer long before we came into the picture. And without him, you'd be locked up in some Imperial lab. And you'd be a prisoner on Kijimi. Yeah, yeah, we lost. But N.D. is the only one that can't walk away. Let's go. The true Take score was friendship. The money was friendship all along, Think? Twitch chat. Want to plant some surprises? <laughs> Family. Find him. Vin Diesel was boat. correct. Landy five is free. And now you and I find the bridge. What about the army of Buckethead surrounding us? <laughs> Why did she give her gun away again? They took it. Or Rico took it, it looked like. So that, like, you know, we wouldn't get shot, but then we got shot. Get moving, Scott. <gasps> oh, we get to pretend to be a stormtrooper. Maybe I should shoot in like all the wrong places. Then they'll really think it's me. Stay close to me. What? No, you stay close to me. I've got the blaster. We can't look like we're lost. Where are the turbo lifts? How am I supposed to know? I was never assigned to a star destroyer. Yeah, I can't believe we're pulling the old Luke and Han. Or I guess actually no, no, no. It was Luke and Han were dressed as stormtroopers, and it was Chewy that they were escorting. Five with the freedom spike. It should strip that restraining bolt off, right? Unless it malfunctions, or you can't get close enough. What if he recognizes your walk? I get blasted. So glad we worked this out. I'm the best shot for the tower. Yeah, the Trojan prisoner. Scum. Very original. Damn! I was not. That's the first time I've heard just like casual racism. What in this game? Did you hear that? What the fuck? <laughs> I have never heard somebody just be like this fucking Rodian scum. What the hell, dude? Man, they're really just putting in bad empire points at the end. Nothing ever happens in this sector. Understood. We'll report back. Trooper, where are you taking this prisoner? Jail. Uh, just a uh, standard transfer, sir. There's no transfer on the schedule. In fact, I don't even see a record of this prisoner. Orders come straight from the top, sir. I sincerely doubt that. Look, I just do what I'm ordered. You want to cause a problem? Sure. Take it up with the ISB. The ISB ordered this. Oh yeah, you should contact them. I bet they'd love to hear why their prisoner is being held up. Maybe they'll poke around too, see what you're up to. No, no need for that. 
Proceed, trooper. Damn, we actually got good at lying. Truly, that's the that's the real arc in this. Nice job. It's that's the like that's the first the like for room. reals good lie that Kay has got. Control room. Can you access the ship's terminal? We need to find Andy Five. Sure. How are we going to clear it out? I got it. Stay out of sight for a second. What's your status? Over. Copy that. Not Starting to think this empire is bad. Yeah, wait a second. Okay, the camera. Can you shut it down? <laughs> yeah, someone should someone should strike at this emperor. In fact, in fact, I think someone should strike back at them. Okay. And in fact, I would love for there to be some sort of return of the Jedi to like take care of them. I think this I think this galaxy really needs a new hope. TK454, where are you? You were assigned escort duty and the VIP. We're like we're getting through here though, like a ghost. Like some sort of phantom menace. Come in, TK four five four. Don't getting good at the stormtrooper thing. Kind of scary, actually. Just bring up the ship's plans. <laughs> Keep them coming? I mean, uh, all these characters act the exactly the same. Okay. You're not going to like this. If we want to, like, work with them, too, we got to attack them, you know, so like clones. For a conference. <laughs> How much you want to bet Jalen and Andy 5 are going to be there? If I can get there in time... I, I feel like, though, if we blow part. all this up, like this whole the area, Vader's going to be mad. I'm We're going to have to deal with some sort of revenge of the Sith. I'm locking the door. Get to that turbo lift before it leaves. Uh, oh. Okay. This is the first... 15 seconds? Dude, this is the first time we've ever had a timed mission. I'm going! I'm coming! You've been relieved, Trooper. What? I didn't hear <laughs> Stop wasting my time. You've been relieved of your post. Now move. Of course, sir. I'm leaving. Damn. Something something holiday special, yeah. It's a shame you can only make six of those puns, though. Damn. I've never seen such a disorganized ship. There's always how things are run. Uh, afraid so, sir. Disgraceful. I think there's a couple ones that we the like, there, there's a couple that we don't give credit to. Ones you don't think about. Ones that are sort of on the fringe, like rogue ones. You know. sheer audacity of it to think anyone would dare summon me from halfway across the empire this better be of paramount importance or someone is going to suffer yes director you know what i think though there's something that they haven't made i, I don't think they've the ever purpose. made star the wars waffles i don't need menials to hold my but hand. if you made like star wars waffles that had like like a crossover of like french toast so they'd be like, La Ego Star Wars. <laughs> that was the biggest walk of them all. <laughs> Director Basha, I understand there has been a security breach. It's a personal matter. Not when you've been so careless with critical Imperial intelligence. Damn, Darth, what's up, dude? You have outlived your usefulness to the Emperor. Yeah, we've already seen Vader once, Jaylen. but we didn't... Uh, we... The Empire accepts your terms, Jalen Rex. Wow, he's really involved in this. Nice cape. Let me guess, the Get fur was ass. your idea. The coordinates to the Rebel base. Whoa! Set course for Akiva, friend. Whoa! Damn, Jalen, that's so fucked. He's really oh. giving him up. Lord Vader drives a hard bargain. In exchange for the Akivan rebels and the return of some very sensitive information. He gets you. You really job. haven't figured it out yet. The terms, Jalen. The Empire is giving me Zarek Besh. Dang. Get fucked. And you. You told Ooh. That we're brothers? 
What? Detail. You've no idea what you've done. I know. What a weird exactly fucking drop at the I've end done. there. The Clone Wars were over. Our factories were set to build thousands of destroyers for the Imperial fleet. We would have been the richest family on Corellia. I did what I had to do. You accused us of plotting against the Emperor, and for what? A promotion? Dang. We had everything, Slero. You had everything. The name like Slero, you're surprised I he betrayed was you? your father's mistake. You had a place at the table. I had scraps. And you never let me forget for one second that you were the favorite. I was the heir! But we were family. Now the screen Taryn's going Hulkamania right now. Now, you owe me an empire. It's time to strike back. So I'm taking yours. <laughs> You remember ND5? Don't remember that scar on his chest. Who you sent to hunt down and kill every last Barsha. Wow. You always did. Ooh! Didn't even let him finish. I really thought I'd feel something. <laughs> So much for tipping the scales, huh? All this for some revenge on your brother? Well, you should know, okay? No one hurts you like family. If you're here for the Codex... I'm here for Endy. And him, I guess. Yeah, let's go. You're kidding. <laughs> well then, come and get them. What was the game plan? Gadik, things went real bad. ND5 saw me and now he's trying to kill me. Okay, uh, I'll find you the fastest way to the hangar. No, I, I've still got the spike, Gadik. I can free him. I don't get what our game plan was. I won't give up. Get away from me, Kay. I never stop running. Oh shit, it even lowered our health bar during this, by the way. Only one way to go! Whee! Oh, oh, oh. Wait, is he not coming down? <laughs> He's just standing up there. Yeah, it turns out Stormtrooper armor sucks. Your spike works. What I do you mean we had our chance. shot? We didn't do anything. We shot a couple of people and that was it. We barely did anything. There was no game plan. It was just be like, yo, Andy, we're go. here. And he's like, uh, I'm still restrained, dude. Kind of what do you want me to do? You don't get it. I don't want to start over. I want my crew. Alright. Yeah, I guess I really didn't see the angle of like Jalen uh just doing this for like personal you know. I didn't expect Slero to be his brother, and that be the reason that he decides to go do all this. Did I? Gadik, where am I? According to the ship's Damn, that's wild. I'm actually the smartest person in the world. You made that prediction when you met Jalen? That he... That he was like Slero's brother? No way. Really? I'm a genius. 
Tell me how. You need to cycle up I'm the smartest course. man in the world. They will trigger an emergency discharge through the central <laughs> That's so Understand? wild. So I turn on both. I gotta check. I wanna check the tape. The middle and it stuns him. Close enough. Whoa. Let me up. What the fuck? Let me up. Hello? Wait. No, do I have to? No. That, all right, that's weird. Perfect game. Oh, there he goes. Hi, Andy. Okay, good for you for getting out of the escape pod. But you should have run. Now I can only hope ND5 doesn't finish the job before I get there. Damn, they're really laying it on thick. Turns out Jalen was a real bad. Anyone on the way? There's the emitter. Looks like I need to set up the trap from the console. <sighs> Nothing happened. Something's interfering with the cores. Time to restart the cores. I assume I gotta follow their tracks back here. Follow the yellow paint. Kadik, I'm at the first core. All right, it's up. We want as much power as you can get. I'm unlocking it. He's gonna survive, right? He's at the top of the line, Battle Droid K. He's an old one. No guarantees. Hello? Oh, okay. Locked out. Uh, maybe I can switch on the cores using the manual controls. Oh, you know what I noticed? We don't have Nyx on. We're, we're, what happened to Nyx? Is Nyx just back on the ship? Does our mom have Nyx? Nyx hid with my gun. Okay. Wait, is that... I've never had to hold down... A thing before like this. Whoa! Whistling might be effective against ND. Or I just speedrun it. Stop until I find you. All right, easy. Enemy in sight. Bullshit. Oh my god. He, I, you know what? You're right. He did. Yeah. He did say hiding would not work. You're throwing your life away. Oh god. Oh god. Run! Run, K. I will find you eventually. Get out of here, Kay. I told you I'd find you. I know you're here. Oh. Just a moment. I cannot believe he just did a double back on me. That's cheating, video there game. Are. NPCs aren't allowed to double back. Run and never look back.
This is so you stupid. You can't stop me. This is a pretty bad fight. This is <laughs> this is not great. Wait, what? Fucking hello? Uh oh. Get out of here. Is it just nope, not that? Okay, not that at all. I told you I'd find you. Hey, thank okay. god they don't make us do the whole thing all over again. Pointless. ND5 is my droid. He's always been mine. You're wrong. Am I? Ah! Hey, run! Run, gay! Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, get. You should have left me. Holy shit, he got my ass. Run, Kay. Wow, dude. Okay. This Run is fucking up. dead by Kay daylight. Is pointless. ND5 is my choice. It's always been mine. You're wrong. Am I? I still don't know how to get out of here. Oh, right there. Okay. Run! Run! You idiot! Kay, <laughs> you're trying to overload the deflector cores. You know I can't fight uh, Jalen's orders. You are lying, Kay. I have no your death to will be on my conscience. Where's everyone else during this? Uh, I guess holding down the fort. Back at the ship, maybe. I don't know. Damn, dude. Andy, He's got some aim. I know you don't want to do this. What I want has not mattered for a long time. You're still talking to me. That means you can fight it. The bolt doesn't work that way, Kay. The bolt is... <laughs> the bolt is absolute. Kay, I can hear blaster fire, and that means you're close. And so is the end. Might be the most effective battle droid ever. Yeah, dude. I mean, the BX, the BXs were always like pretty good. If you ever watch Clone Wars, they do fucking flips and like backflips and shit. It's wild. <laughs> uh, all right. Is it just gonna be the same thing twice? Where did you come from? More than just a battle droid. Kay, if you believe that, you're fooling yourself. I will find oh, you eventually. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just video game your you're ass so hard. To do, it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude, we have to... S oh, this is going to suck. I resented having to save your life. Uh, trying to kill me with honesty now. I see now you are different, Kay. You deserve to survive. That will not happen if you keep doing what you are doing. Uh, mm. 
I told you to run. Dude, this part sucks so bad. This part sucks so bad. <laughs> Did you come from? I am anticipating your next move. I cannot control it. I was created to hunt and destroy. You're more than just a battle for Okay, if you believe that, you're losing yourself. But have we there whistled? You are. But have we whistled? No, because I whistling doesn't work half game. the time in this game. As you saw there when I tried to press the button, it's, it tried to summon our bike. Whistling just doesn't work in this game. Where did you come from? I am anticipating your next move. I cannot control it. I was created to hunt and destroy. You're more than just a battle droid. Okay. Dude, I what the shit am I game. supposed to do? I like broke line of sight and everything. Oh my goodness. All right. Where did you come from? I am anticipating your next move. I cannot control it. I was created to hunt and destroy. You're more than just a battle droid. Okay, if you believe that, you're fooling yourself. Like, I'm literally just. I'm begging you, Kay. It's a hold? I am, look. Hold. You have hold. to run. I, I did a whistle during the tutorial, and that's like the only other time it's worked. Superpowers. I will find you eventually. Whatever you're trying to do, it won't work. I'm just trying to get through this part, my guy. someone's ankle so hard in my life. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm, it's Jover. It's never been more Jover. I'm trying, dude. 
Okay, Andy. You Please. Win. You win. I Where did I even go? But I know this isn't you. It's Jalen. Oh, no. I to run. I'm trying. <gasps> I told you I'd find you. Kajik, I fired up the second corp. <sighs> Too much interference. Gotta lure him into the middle. Oh, into the trap, I see. <laughs> you should have left me. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying. I'm literally trying to get away from you. Target found. I fired up the second corp. Oh, I can go through there now. You got fucked. Oh, is it spike time? I'm gonna jam it into his chesticles. The Sorry, boy. <laughs> Me too. Damn. Andy. Okay. I didn't think you had it in you. All that just to blast his ass. <laughs> they made those BX units tough. Blaster. No. Oh, shit. How did that even happen? When did that even happen? Oh, it's Not like, we sh oh, we shot him right in the, the bolt. That's all it this. took. You okay? Never better. Good. Because I can't breathe in this thing. I'm gonna thank you, Kay. Oh, the freedom spike. But I'm spike. not going to apologize. I did what I had to do. I never asked, Asara. Look, the Codex can save a lot of lives. You took on the most powerful force in the galaxy to save a friend. Yeah. I'm just trying to save mine. Oh, it's my Press job. Okay, sure. <laughs> no one's... No one's gonna lift a finger. It's up to it's up to Gideek? Nix. Yeah, all right. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Got a life. I've got a Sara and ND5 here, and we could really use that turbo lift. Got it. There's one side ahead. Yeah. I'm calling it for you. Truly, Nix is the hero. Oh shit. Uh hey, I forgot. I have been requested uh to take breaks during the stream uh so that we can run ads to uh do to get rid of pre-roll. Uh so this seems like a right I know. I know we're in like the middle of a get out of here thing, but I should take a quick little break. <laughs> breaks are supposed to happen. Yeah. Okay. I'll take a quick little 3 minute break so I can run some ads and then we'll come right back, okay? Okay. Don't go away. We're uh, we're gonna we're gonna get out of this uh, after this. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Time to get the fuck out of here. Pin down. Punk. So you know we'll never be a stormtrooper. And wait for the peekies. Do 
Dude, my gun remains like the best blaster. And... Oh, doink, doink. I said doink! Oh, right, why don't I just do this more often? One there, one there. Not today, sir. This one's behind us too? Jeepers, all right. You know what? This requires a physical advantage. Dun dun da, dun dun da, dun dun da, da 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 da. Hold on, Nick, you get that one. There we go. Dun dun da, dun dun da. Oh fuck yeah, get him, bud. All right, Nix. Oh, you go get that back one. I'll take this one. Hiya! Dude, fist? Fist always wins. Melee build, baby. Oh, that's a grenade. Ow. I got killed by one of my buddies. I was doing so good, and then I got killed by one of my buddies. No! That's so funny. Well, I'm telling you, Fist is still the way. He's behind us. I mean, this sniper is also pretty good. Back to Fista, please. Nope. Hello? Please? Yeah, sure, that works. Yeet! Yeet! Oh, shit. Oh, ow, 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 ow. My bad, my bad, my bad. Holy shit! The Superman punch from downtown! Dude was getting lit up. Hiya! Hiya! Oh shit, Death Trooper! Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'll level with you. I wasn't expecting a Death Trooper. Multiple Death Troopers! guy can Nyx do anything to these dudes no they don't give a shit the left is here Sora, we need to go time to boogie maybe don't hide behind the exploding barrel so true bestie <laughs> I can't believe you 
put this off. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we please just get out of here? Yeah, we're not quite in the we pulled it off area yet, but. Dun, dun, dun. Why was the stormtrooper? I'd be so pissed. He did shoot me like seven times. I've just got a lot of health. There's too many of them. We gotta get back to the trailblazer. Okay, Ang. Anytime now. Ah! Damn! Let's go, Ang. You want to know the thing? Is if this game had been more about this, more about like adventures with the crew and stuff like that, I actually think this would have been a banger. Kivo base, respond. Daniel, you need to evacuate. Hyperdrive's online. And you have like conversations with I guess basically if this had been more of like an RPG. The Empire knows where you are. Can you hear me? Diverting power to deflectors. Deflectors? Are you serious? Did you tap all the please? Asara, keep trying. Damn, and now we're helping the rebels too. You Let's changed, K. Calling in some favors. I hope. Yeah. Honestly, if this was Star Wars Mass Effect doing heists, banger. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. What happened? That that lasted so long. That, that okay. lasted so long. What was that? I think it might have been a loading screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Dude, I would have loved I would love to see what that cutscene looks like on a computer that like runs really slowly. We lost our shield! Why isn't this working? They still we need a new KOTOR? Try to boost the signal. Yeah, honestly, the yeah. From the deflectors. Daniel. Uh -oh. Cable base. Honey, do you read? And these guys got us up. They gotta check their messages. You're taking hits. <laughs> oh god. Move. Trying to get my shields back. These guys are on my butt. Enemies on our tail. Taking fire. I love how we're this one ship. Take it through to the base. Taking on a whole they squadron. communications. K, for the message to reach the rebels, you must destroy it. I hear you. Yeah. We're hit. We got a we got a boogie. Taking fire. Okay, that Imperial cruiser is jamming our communications. Let's take it out. Shields are up again. We're taking hits. Man, I wish we had put any amount of upgrades into our ship. Yeah, dude, it's because our ship sucks. Did you get out? 
You can say that. Oh. The rebels are here to save the day. Okay. Not bad. But not enough. What now? Someone's answered the distress beacon. Who's that? Is she gonna answer your call? And thank you for answering, your highness. Dude, is it gonna be everybody who we've become like buddies with? Which is the codex. We will take it. Ah, right. Deal. Tell your rebel Oh, it's your best ally? I'm cool with the Ashiga. I didn't hate them. Of the of all the groups, they were probably the best. Syndicates on Belio Clish to Ramna. Hungry. Can you imagine? Yeah, that would rule, fun. Gap. How about we get moving before they <laughs> it change takes your mind. worst one. <laughs> yeah, I was like BFFs with the Ashiga. I mean, I did, I did kill the queen. But if that star destroyer will fire, the damage to mirror will be catastrophic. I hear you. We need to find a way to stop it. Can we even hurt that thing? Not through those shields. Okay. You need to destroy the shield generators. Okay. Okay, Denyon, tell me straight. Do we stand a chance against this thing? There's always hope, Denyon. I'd say 8020 Empire. Oh, not bad odds. All right. Ow. Ow. Dude, the heat meter is so annoying. Shiga Headhunter, how's your new queen doing on Kijimi? There is no new queen or old queen. There is just Queen Ashiga. Ah. Ah! Watch you know what? That works. <laughs> I was like, I really hope that it would come off of the heat. <laughs> cool down before I rammed it. But you know what? Sometimes the melee build. Yeah. Melee build on ship and go. <laughs> We're taking it out! Yeah! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Video game! Yeah, I took care of that. Now it's just the rest. Right side. I'm on it. <laughs> oh gosh, we're gonna fucking die. Come in, trailblazer. Get fucked. Got internal explosions. And a chain reaction in the revelator's ion drives. <laughs> Never thought I'd see this. Me neither. So good at Toga. The honks like get out of my way. I wanna see the big explosion. Get out of here. I do like how they're like, we'll put the shield generator on the bottom of the ship. <laughs> and no, no fucking space engineer has been like, there is no bottom. There is no top. There is no up and down in space. Everything is relative. You might as well just put it on the top in a big dome that said, shoot this. Saying, we're not pulled from the codex. Jalen was right. We can't take the scales against the Empire. <laughs> oh, you're serious? We got lucky. Taking out the Star Destroyer for no money is lucky? Well, we're alive. <sighs> we could use you, Kay. No, no! I hm? think I'm done being used. Thank you! Just be careful out there, Asara. Thank God. I was really like, you? please do not have her join the rebels. And I mean, our Luna de Tabola, she knew me. She talked to Slegaton. Ah, that's too bad. I think I got the job. Lots of droids and casinos. Droid uba kava pagua. Casinos to blow to pieces. Casinos. Okay, uba You two have fun. 
But I'll bill you out when you mess it up. <laughs> That's the first DLC. I figure I owe you one. So are you picking up their tab or am I? Aww. <laughs> Father figure. Still want your room? Ah, uh, just keep the lights on, Bram. As long as you need. Oh shit, are we going on Adventures with Vale now? I was wondering when you'd show up. Just here for my 20%. 10. But how about something better? I thought the Codex was lost in battle. To everyone else. I figure there's enough secrets in there for someone to start their how, own business. How would it have been lost in battle? We made it out. Who... Could use a who partner? shit would believe that? Could Our ship one. got out fine. Hey, we had it. enough to track down, right? Who... <laughs> what? It fell out the window? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Dropped it behind the couch, yeah. Sorry, Nyx ate it. <laughs> so, where do we go next? Anywhere we want, Andy. We dipped it. Oh, wait, I want to do that. <laughs> Get the screen cap off the thing. Wow. All right. There's this mid credit scene. Cool. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, all right. All in all, I had fun. I think it was fine. This was the finest game I've ever played, you know? It had fun bits. I really, really enjoyed uh, the Sabak. I'm telling you, man, I would just, I would play a, an online Sabak game. Uh, there's a speed up. Yeah, you know what? Considering the size of this game, you are probably correct. Wait. Oh my God, it's not. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> It wasn't like a you press and it starts like going. It was just I had to like. It felt like I had to like press it through for each thing. Best <gasps> slicer in the galaxy, caught for using March credits. Jalen Vrax was clever, wasn't he? I see you read my file. Damn, we're freeing Ten our mama. Ten crews in nine years, no home, no family, and absolutely no attachments. Man, we didn't steal Except a very high-ranking suit. We only got like four fucking trident gum things on our is. chest. Cheap bet at the father of your track? A tracker. A strong one, too. Custom build. I'd say at least 10 years old. Whoever built this wanted to know exactly where their mark was at all times. Oh, uh, okay. You can't trust someone's always gonna be there. But... That's what makes it matter when they are. Not bad. For an Imperial. I'd say this one needs a bit more time to think about what she's done. On me, Trooper. You know, it like, it, it uh, it definitely helps. It, 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 you know, it adds a bit of leniency to her, but I mean, it's still shitty what she did. There we go. You have to hold it? What's this game with holding shit? Wow. You know, that was cute, though. Yeah, I genuinely think that this was... Yeah. You can call it a white bread bologna sandwich. It'll fill you up, even if it's not the tastiest. It was a fun little addition. I'd be curious if they're like... Because I know that they have been considering making a... Um... Shit, what's his name? What's the dude from uh, Jedi Survivor? Um, Cal. I know that they've been like thinking about adding Cal to the, uh, like the, the extended universe kind of a thing. Like he's like a canon character or whatever. 
So I'd be curious if they're like if that's their game plan with this at all, but he technically already is. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So, who knows? Maybe someday we'll see a Kves character. So is this okay? Interesting. I'd pay to see a series of heist movies with K and Nix. That's the thing. I think I think the game writing was just weak. I don't think K is necessarily a bad character. She has all the you know the makings of a character in a Star Wars universe who could be cool and interesting, right? It's just the writing might have been a little mid tier. They kind of need to remaster KOTOR at this point. Revan is already canon, kind of, so it all fits. Yeah. Well, for I can't tell. Like I know when Disney took over, they like. They, I thought people said that like they they were making a bunch of shit uncanon, like a lot of the extended universe stuff was just not anymore. But like, it seems like that's not the case. I don't know. I don't like. I don't know what's canon and what isn't. I thought they made the entirety of the Clone Wars stuff. Oh, it was the novels. Okay, I see. It seems like, yeah, it seems like, if anything, they, like, they discredit those stories, but then they, like, then current retellings of those sort of things. Yeah. So they can get out of paying residuals and royalties. I see. Interesting. So, like, the games are still canon. Cool. I mean... That's the remaster I want to see. They keep remastering games, I feel, that don't actually need a remaster, but boy, howdy, does KOTOR need one. If anything, just for better... It's like it's like how Mass Effect 1 was like a great game that needed a remaster just because it, like, controlled, like, dog shit, and the, and the combat was very mid in it, but then they, like, brought it up to more standard kind of things, and that's a great remaster, right? Be, be the way to go, for sure. Out of curiosity, is the MMO stuff canon? Cal had audio during the all the Jedi audio mont. Oh yeah. Right. It's been a it's been a hot minute. Definitely. Did the did the remaster system shock actually come out? I remember them saying they were going to do it, and then things sort of fell to the winds. I don't know. Yeah, I thought I remember hearing things, but I don't know. Bioware has also just been in like a interesting position for a while. And with how, how things seem to have gone for Veilguard, I know that people will probably be a little apprehensive. Remaster happened, but they listened too close to the Kickstarter backers, and it's very mid. Shocking. Turns out people who don't make video games don't actually know anything about video games. <laughs> you know, I can keep throwing my opinion at things, but I don't really have an idea of what makes a game good or not. I mean, I can't be the only person who sat at the uh, Steam, who's looking at the Steam sale going on right now. I saw that they're doing every Kingdom Hearts on Steam for 40 bucks and I'm like man it would be kind of nice to have all of them in one position but objectively the Kingdom Hearts games are not amazing games <laughs> I can love them and you can but like objectively Kingdom Hearts is like you know it's it's bullshit that we enjoy right so what's the next play it forward the next play it forward after this is going to be uh, Kathleen she's going to be playing uh, the metaphor Game, uh, that new that new Atlas game. I have no idea uh, when it's gonna start. Maybe in the new year. But uh, yeah, Kathleen's on dock. Refantisio, sure. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. So tune in for uh, another what I assume is going to be quite a long one. Yeah, I mean, uh, Nicole, I, I, I picked up because it was on sale for like 10 bucks on this current sale, uh, Divinity 2 for Nicole. And I was like, this is the game that you get to look at that it's like this game series walked so that Baldur's Gate 3 could run, really. 
but can it beat Heather's Baldur's Gate 3 record? I don't know. I don't think I came close. This was definitely a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but... It's dead, not, not, I, don't, I don't think it was quite as long as, uh, as the BG3 playthrough. Old Larian Star Wars game could be money. I mean... Larian, Larian did very well, good with Baldur's Gate 3. The thing that surprises me about Baldur's Gate 3 and Larian is they keep putting out new stuff. Do you see that the next patch in the new year is going to add like 12 subclasses? And also in, in typical Larian fashion too, they were just like, here, mod support built into the, into the main game too. Yeah, like a whole bunch of these, they're like, they straight up are like, we're not doing any DLC. It turns out what that actually meant is we're just going to keep updating the game and adding cool new things. Yeah. Shadow drops act four. I mean, that'd be sick. I believe you are 28 sessions short of matching. Sick. Okay. I was worried that I was like going on for much longer than I thought, but yeah. Interestingly, uh, I think there, you know, we talk about how companies like Blizzard and, um, I mean, really most of the big video game companies at this point you have like have this like massive fall from grace where you don't have a lot of like optimism when they put out like a new game that you did like when you were growing up and stuff uh but on the flip i think there's been a lot of cool companies that have come that have sort of f like filled in uh those sort of voids i think larian is is has been doing great uh I, I mean, one that I think that's that's held pretty true is um, uh, not SquareSoft. Please help me. My brain is breaking. Uh, Souls-like games, please help. All the Souls games. FromSoft, thank you. Yeah, I think I think most of the time when FromSoft puts out something these days, you're like, you're like, this probably be this, this will be a good one, right? I think there's a lot of like indie companies as well too that I think are doing really really well, but obviously these mega corporations, it's uh, getting harder and harder to to be like, yeah, I'm sure this will be great. The fact that you, I think, in like a lot of people's reviews, you'll just see people be like, this game is awesome, it works, <laughs> as though like the fact that the game functions <laughs> should be like points in its favor. No, well, I no, not at all. I and I'm it. It's it's just not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work out. Realistically, uh, while I think that there have been some positive advancements in Blizzard, uh, the magic of things that they're doing is just. It's just gone. And I say that as somebody who still plays WoW. It's gotten better. There's a lot of cool things. It's no longer as demanding of your time. But uh, I think those days of magic are over. That's okay. Time to move on to other things. I think we're also just getting older, you know? I think, I think we just, a lot of us just need shorter games. <laughs> shorter, more fun, single player experiences. There's not a lot of magic. I mean, I, but that's the thing, though. I think there have been some true gaming, like, zeitgeists that have gone on. You know? Elden Ring. Baldur's Gate 3. I think those are two ones that it's just, like, collectively... I mean, it was also a different kind of circumstance, but during the pandemic... Do you remember Animal Crossing coming out? I think there have just been, like, a couple of, like, games that, you know... Every once in a while, there have still been games that have coming out that have come out that, like take the world by storm and I think they universally have a pretty damn good like experience for people I've heard a lot of people talking about P the, the new PoE yeah a lot of people talking about that one I have a, I have a, I have a big group of friends that I have no interest in PoE at all but uh, but I have a bunch of friends who are super super into it so Shorter single players that don't always require online. I know. The f as soon as I logged into uh, Dragon Age, and it was like, 
checking online services. I was like, are you kidding me? Please stop doing that. And they're like, well, it's to prevent piracy. And it's like, it's not working. That's not gonna save it. The people who know how to pirate are gonna pirate that game and no workarounds. All you're preventing me from doing is playing this, playing Dragon Age on a really long flight on my Steam Deck. Which Dragon Age are you playing? I'm uh, Veilguard, uh, which I have fallen off of. Just straight up, I stopped playing. It's just not for me, but I might. I do want to give it a solid go, but it's just, I'm, I'm not loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I will say the last time I was like really interested in like online though in single player games. Do you remember the uh, the days of the Mass Effect Mass Effect Three online missions? That was the shit. Because you could be like a you could the, one of the classes was a Krogan Vanguard, and you could just zoop around punching shit. Dude, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer was awesome. You can still play it? Are people still rocking ME3 multiplayer? If so, that's sick. That's wild. Yeah, I just made like a Krogan Vanguard and just went and like punched the shit out of things. That or you could do like, you could do snipey infiltrator stuff and I just go and you go invisible, you get the damage boost and you just shoot an elite for its entire health bar. That's sick. You tune in at the end of the stream? Yeah. I just want, I'm just, I'm curious to see how long this, uh, I know I can skip it. I just wanted to see how long this credits, these credits will go even on fast forward. My thumb's getting sore. <laughs> I hope they let you play Krogan's in the new game. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? There's a new Mass Effect game coming out? What? Since when? How did I miss that information? Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Six years ago, it got talked about. Right, okay. I probably heard about it and then went, awesome, and then forgot about it. They tease it like every year. Right, it's like when Todd came out and was like, Elder Scrolls Six, <laughs> And we're just like, Where? <laughs> oh, there you go. It's getting to the end. Sort of. Holy crap. This, this is going on so long. Yeah, all these software licenses. <laughs> I gotta keep going. We've gone so far at this point, I gotta know. The only thing we really have is a character in a Spectre helmet wearing a sleek trench coat. I mean, like I said, Nicole's never seen any of the Mass Effect games and I kind of just want to play through them with her. I, I would say that that is probably the series that like, I have the most warm fuzzies for in terms of like, you know, Bioware properties or like big RPGs from our youth. The Mass Effect series, the amount of times I replayed through it and all my friends were like, we would just like sit and watch somebody play Mass Effect together, like huge. What do you think we should do now? You know what I think we should do now, Kay? Exit out of this video game forever. That's interesting that we they put us uh, out the, at the bar outside Tashara. Well, there you go. Now you can uh, now now we can explore the world and stuff like that. Oh, that was great. Honestly, I had a lot of fun. I think uh, it, you know not the best game in the world, but we had fun. We did so much gambling. And uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, if there's like nothing going on, maybe we could take a look at the DLC or something like that. But I think I'm happy to uh, close the door on this chapter. I might, I might pick it up. I think that you, honestly, most of the time uh, games are like quite decent the whole way through or okay the whole way through. And then the ending kind of drops the ball. This is what a different sort of one where it was like, okay, the whole way through. And the ending might have actually been its strongest part. 
which is rare, you know? So I, I, I didn't, I didn't hate it. It, it left, it left on a good note. Honestly, it like actually seemed to want to tie things together. So cool. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for going on this journey with me, everybody. We really appreciate it. Have we played Sabak on AFK? No. And uh, I, I, I think I'm going to try and figure out a way to make that happen, Cap'n. Uh, oh, that's true. That's true. The ND5 fight sucked. <laughs> that's, that fight sucked ass. Uh, but thank you, everybody. A reminder that all this was possible due to you over at our Patreon and patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Uh, you can also check out our store, store.loadingreadyrun.com. Yes, Ku bought me a Sabak set, so I'm probably going to have to hit him up when I next see him. Uh, too bad he doesn't go to fucking magic conventions anymore. Way to have other responsibilities, nerd. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to dongle the bongle and uh, be sure to check out uh, the next Blade Forward, which, like I said, it's going to be Kathleen. She's going to be uh, doing the Animu games, uh, the new Atlas. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, everybody. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.